Yo guys, what is going on? It is Will here from Frantic Gaming, bringing you some more Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. We are cruising on the map Village, and we are playing some Kill Confirmed. Uh, today is a Thursday, and on Thursdays it's obviously my story time. So, once again, I have another story for you. Um, this is a story about uh, what I do in my free time, or some of the stuff, and it happened a few weeks ago. And it involves Luke. Um, I'm not sure if you met him yet, but you will do soon, so don't worry. So anyway, his dad is literally like a millionaire. Um, he has a massive house. It used to be like um, a factory type thing. But it's all been renovated into a house and it is pretty sick, not going to lie. Uh, he's got all the latest stuff, etc. So anyway, um, he decided to have a little get together and a little sleepover type thing. Um, and literally... 30 people turned up maybe um, so obviously uh, we're not going to go to bed uh, we're going to stay up all night and it started off just a normal sleepover just you know doing the normal things there was a few girls there um, uh, we played a bit of COD obviously uh, done a bit of recording and obviously as the night went by we started to get bored uh, we went you know we just went to the shops to get some food and by about 10 o'clock there being 30 people uh, we ran out of food uh, pretty quickly um, So we got to about 11 o'clock and Luke's dad come in and was like um, Do you want any food and Luke was like oh yes, please, but there's nothing in so his dad just pretty much gave us like a wad of money He must have gave us at least 200 quid at least um, So obviously we capitalize on this and we're just like now nah, we're not gonna spend it yet and It got to about 2 in the morning and we're all still awake like 30 of us Everyone's going absolutely mad um, It's a big rave and as I said, it's two in the morning and everyone got hungry. So we was like, oh, what can we do? What can we do? It's two in the morning. What's going to be open? So obviously all the supermarkets were shut because it's a weekday. Um, Domino's, etc, etc, um, was shut. So we took it on ourselves to ring up a taxi firm. So we ring up the taxi firm and we, we pretty much just said to the bloke, um, where can you take us? What's open? And he goes, oh, there's a McDonald's 24 hour, which we know. So we was like, do you know what, yeah, uh, we'll order a taxi, obviously, to Luke's house. Uh, so we just got, yeah, can we have a taxi, please? So obviously, about two in, half two in the morning, they come pick us up. Um, it was only a five-seater taxi, so obviously I got in, Tom didn't got in, Tom stayed there, and me and a few other mates went. So obviously, we got in this taxi, and he was like, where do you want to go? And we was like, can we go to McDonald's, please? And bear in mind, if it's two in the morning. So obviously, he took us to McDonald's at two in the morning. Walking past all the staggering drunks coming out of the pub. So we get to McDonald's and we ring everyone up and we go, um, Oh yeah, what do you want? So obviously everyone orders, we write it down. Uh, we must have had at least 40 orders considering everyone wanted chips and that. Um, so we get to the till and the man goes, Yeah, welcome to McDonald's, can I take your order? So we just go, You're going to be here a while, mate. So we order all the food, you know, the quarter pounders, the Big Macs, the milkshakes, and uh, we must have ordered, as I said, about 40. So obviously a man goes, that's, he's, he's somewhat ridiculous. He goes, that's £160, please. So we must have spent £160 on McDonald's. And um, I ordered a milkshake and the man goes, oh no, sorry, we've got no, sorry, we've got no milkshakes. And then um, I was like, ah, oh, fair enough. And then as we are ordering, he picks up a milkshake. I go, oh, what's that you got in your hand then? He goes, it's a milkshake. And I was like, what the actual fuck? How come you got a milkshake? So, uh, yeah, obviously the bill was £160. Um, we must have spent at least half an hour waiting for all the food to be cooked. So, obviously, we sat in the, like, the little parking bay for like half an hour. And then, obviously, uh, they come out with about six of their staff just carrying our food over. So, he was like, oh, yeah, thanks. And he was like, oh, wait there, we've got more. So, obviously, they all go back in and bring out even more food. So just pile it into the taxi, all this food, put it in the boot, wherever it can go. We had about 100 drinks on our laps. And uh, we get back at like 3 in the morning. Uh, we all eat our McDonald's. And then Luke was like, oh, did you get my McDonald's, guys? And we was like, no. And we forgot to get him the McDonald's. He gave us all that money. Obviously, we put in money as well. Um, and we didn't get him a McDonald's. We're just poor friends. So I'm not going to say any more. So obviously, we're all eating uh, our 160 quid's worth of food. And poor old Luke was sitting there with nothing. Lag of house. Um, so that's pretty much uh, what happened. Going to McDonald's at like 2 in the morning, ordering £160 worth of food. 
And we got up in the morning and the place was literally just swamped with McDonald's wrappers. Um, uh, Luke's room is pretty much uh, the size of like a classroom. So we, we obviously piled loads and loads of mattresses on there, which made a better mattresses. Uh, we must have had about three TVs in there, uh, two PlayStations. It was just absolutely insane. McDonald's everywhere, un like half drunken milkshakes. It was just one of the most crazy experiences of my life. Um, so obviously this is the worst bit. Um, go home the next day. Uh, Mum and Dad are there. They're like, "Yeah, you're all right." And I was like, "Yeah." She was like, "Good sleep over." I was like, "Yeah, it's all right." Then she's like, "What you been doing then?" And I was like, "Oh, nothing. Just you know, playing PS3 and that really." She was like, "You haven't have you?" And I was like, "No." And she goes, "Uh, I know what you've been doing." I was like, "No, you don't." She was like, "Well, I saw you going to McDonald's at three in the morning. I heard all about it." And I was just like, "Nah." So obviously I got quite in a bit of trouble. You shouldn't go out in a taxi on your own. What if a car crash had happened? Well, I went super squeaky there. Um, yeah, so obviously the next day I got absolutely rinsed by mum and dad. Um, it didn't go too bad though because it was just a pure mad night. Going to McDonald's at 2 in the morning is insane. Um, I honestly don't know how we got the money. I think we must have had it in. Because like, the thing is though, like on the average sleep over, everyone brings like pound coins. So obviously... Um, Luke's dad gave us like a couple of twenty pound notes, um, so the, it comes to about forty. I think we got to about forty, uh, sixty pound, eighty pound when we finished with the rest of the notes. We were just passing like one pound coins through the window, like must have been like eighty one pound coins. So here's one pound, here's another pound. Oh wait, we've got fifty p's. Uh, oh here's some twenty p's. It was just beyond. Oh uh, everything about it was just mad. I can't explain it, guys, but. That was definitely one of the best experiences in my life. It was just insane. Uh, everyone had a great time. Uh, that's pretty much the story, then, guys. Um, just, it was just madness. Just, 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 just pure and utter madness. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that story, story guys. Um, uh, if you do like it, please leave and like a comment. And as I've still got time on the commentary, yeah. Um, I'd just like to quickly thank you for your support recently. Um, we're getting plenty of comments, um, where we're getting all the likes, it's just amazing at the moment guys, um, when I come back off holiday, we was averaging around 38 views a day, which is, yep, shit, 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 I know, please don't laugh, but now I've gone to like 200, so it's only you I can thank for that guys, I try to quit like takes time, just say a big thank you for you, um, keep your support coming, favourite this video if you can, and favourite all our videos, uh, try and get us out as much as there because it really does mean a lot. Uh, we we do hope you're enjoying the videos. We've got plenty much more for you. We've got zombies, uh, me, Tom and Luke. We've all downloaded the map packs. So we've got some epic zombies coming for you. Um, I'm sure you'll love it because you don't want to miss out because some of the bits in there was funny. Um, it's hilarious. Um, so hopefully stay tuned to the channel, channel guys, because you do not want to miss out on this. Um, I'm not being biased, but... Uh, I reckon we've got some decent stuff coming up there that will definitely uh, contend with like the decent YouTube channels. So, anyway, guys, brings us to the end of the commentary. Once again, and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like. Um, I love you all, and thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.